Hi, I'm Wayne Young. I'm going to be your instructor for this semester. And we're going to do a fabulous review of the whole field of health informatics. Very interesting subject matter that is extremely complex. But we'll try to break this down into bite-sized things that are highly meaningful to you as a pharmacy practitioner. You know, there are a whole lot of things that are happening on the national scene relative to electronic health records. And of course, in pharmacy, we've had all kinds of electronic health records for years and years. We just call them medication profiles, and often they're anchored into a materials management and or a actual medication therapy management profile. It's usually never reconciled with some type of problem list from diagnostic activity by local physicians, area healthcare institutions, and all the entities that provide care to patients. For way too long, our profession has really depended upon a scrap of paper that people bring into our particular environment and we're supposed to make heads and tails out of what that is and what that's anchored to and often that becomes a query state for us with the patient trying to figure out exactly what the physician might have meant in doing the prescribing that was done. For the next number of years in healthcare, that's going to have to break apart. We're going to have to have some kind of access to understanding exactly what's going on with the patient and how to respond intelligently and participate in their care. There are health information exchanges that are on a statewide basis that are being developed. Yes, there are all kinds of governmental pressures and things that are happening to make that happen. But we as pharmacists are going to have to be into helping solve that dilemma of putting intelligent medication information into these records so that all providers can use them intelligently. We're well aware, as an example here in Nebraska, that our health information exchange, NEHI, does not have Medicaid prescribing in the database. So that in seeing patients, particularly for pharmacists, Medicaid prescriptions are not going to be incorporated into a health information exchange record. That needs a change. When cash prescriptions are purchased by patients and pharmacy benefit managers are not involved in processing the prescription for insurance payment systems, that information is not captured in a health information exchange. These pieces, problem pieces, are going to have to be solved and at the same time we're going to have a need to look at the patient record information in some patients cases to do intelligent pharmaceutical care and assist the other members of the healthcare team. Our course is going to explore all this kind of stuff. It's going to be a really interesting semester and I am looking forward to being your instructor and bringing all this information forward for your enjoyment and your educational pleasure.